If there's one thing that every Pokemon fan the world over knows, aside from how terrible a trainer that Ash Ketchum was in the original animated series, seriously go back and get your Pidgeot, you idiot, it's the famous slogan of the entire franchise, gotta catch them all. But the problem is, is that unless you were extremely lucky in the right place at the right time, there was a ton of Pokemon that you've ended up missing across your journey through all of the regions. So let me explain, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 ultra rare Pokemon you only had one chance to catch. Number 10. Dark Ray Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum When looking at Dark Ray for the first time, you might immediately start looking at your team and questioning who to boot off to give this big bad lad a space to shine, as its edgelord design and rather horrifying description make quite the first impression. Seriously, according to the game, this thing floats about at night stalking people and then invading their dreams to give them nightmares. It's like having a pocket-sized Freddy Krueger. However, I'll have to wake you from this dream with the knowledge that in order to claim one in either Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum, you'd need to have a member's card in your possession which unfortunately was an event-exclusive item that only circulated briefly in late 2009 for just a few months. According to various sources, Dark Ray is completely unobtainable by other legitimate means, leaving the otherwise cool-as-hell creature to be unfairly slept on. Number 9. Nintendo Power Celebi Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal If you were a true Nintendo fan, the question of would you rather go out for a pint or buy a copy of Nintendo Power was a genuinely tough proposal. The publication is often held aloft as some of the finest in the entire industry, and whether this is from the perspective of rose-tinted glasses or not, you can't deny that the articles, interviews, and clear dedication to Nintendo fans throughout was anything less than stellar. Plus, who could forget the insane competitions that they used to run? From giving away cameos in the upcoming Nintendo games to ridiculous items like a Super Mario shower unit, nothing was off the table when it came to what you could win, and of course, Pokemon was swept up into this competition whirlwind as well. In this example, Celebi was offered up as a prize to a lucky selection of fans who were able to send in an application to Nintendo Power before a specified closing date. Sounds easy, right? Well, it might shock you to learn that just over 250 people ended up receiving the Celebi in question, with many others being sent Nintendo Power merch instead, making this otherwise pretty common Pokemon an utterly rare variant that barely anyone managed to lay claim to. Number 8. Mew – Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow Virtual Console Event until the day of our last breath, there will always likely be somebody who will claim that they were able to capture Mew in the original Pokemon Red and Blue by locating them under that bloody truck before the cruise ship section. Despite this being proven time and again to be a hoax, the legend still rumbles on. However, if you really want to talk about legendarily rare encounters with Mew, then look no further than the exclusive Mew that was gifted to just a handful of players attending a UK and Ireland launch party for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Here, according to those that attended the event, trading stations were set up around the one-night event, which allowed them to acquire an English Mew for the virtual console editions of Red, Blue, and Yellow. As the event only had around 200 in attendance and was limited to one per person, this makes it one of the rarest event Pokémon in existence. Number 7. Mount Tensai Marshadow Pokemon The Movie 20 – I Choose You it is genuinely astounding to think that the Pokemon franchise has spawned 23 movies at the time of recording this, and while not all of them will be as emotional as the first film, and don't pretend you didn't cry when Ash died, the 20th movie, I Choose You, might have made you well up a little as well, as if you were watching the film in Japan across its first cinematic run, you'd be able to enter a code for an exclusive Pokemon. The level 50 Mount Tensai Marshadow was a rather fitting download, seeing as the movie in question was this cute little Ball of Aggression's debut into the series, and acting as the cherry on top of a cake made of smoke, the download code also gave you access to a Z crystal that allowed you to upgrade Marshadow's Soul Thief move into a much more deadly soul stealing seven star strike. Totally worth the price of admission. Number 6. Flying Pikachu VGC Worlds 2012 It's pretty safe to say that everyone and their nan knows of the glorious little electric rodent Pikachu, who is arguably the most famous Pokemon in existence. What that cute little face being plastered over every product and promotion that the franchise has had going for it. And while it might be an extremely common sight to see trainers rock up with one of these in their party, much rarer are those that manage to swipe a Pikachu from the VGC World Tournament in 2012, as this event Pokemon came with a pretty unique ability. 
gravity. It knew fly. Finally, you were able to soar through the skies on the back of a creature about one-fifth of your side. Who says that dreams can't come true? Well, those who didn't attend the event were in for a rude awakening, as this move cannot be learned by Pikachu under any other normal conditions. Number 5. Steven's Shiny Beldum Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire now, I know that a lot of you might be saying, hang on a minute, a Beldum isn't exactly a rare Pokemon, nor is it even that hard to get Steven's variant either, as you can just trade with him in-game. Well, hang on a minute, my friend, and let me explain. It's the shiny version of Steven's Beldum that's incredibly rare, seeing as this was a timed exclusive Pokemon only issued on the release of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Even getting a shiny variant of the original one is an utter chore, what with the random nature of these things and the excessive breeding that you'd need to do so in order to be able to get it, so being able to skip all of that faff and get a nice nod to a prior adventure with Steven's name as the original trainer makes it all the better. Plus, it comes with a classic ribbon and is holding a metagrossite, meaning that you could mega evolve your new friend into an absolute beast. If you did want to get your hands on this variant, however, you'd have had to have been pretty quick off the mark, as this promotional window for claiming it was only a few months after launch. Number 4. Wishmaker Jirachi Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire while being a decent game in its own right, Pokemon Coliseum experienced a record number of pre-orders thanks to a cross-promotion that this game had with the Generation 3 handheld games. If players were quick enough to secure a copy of Coliseum at certain outlets, they would receive a bonus disc along with their copy of the game. Not only did it contain preview material for upcoming films like Jirachi Wishmaker, but also a code to download the little critter. This, of course, made the Wishmaker Jirachi incredibly rare, and even though the disc allowed for multiple downloads, its limited circulation made it a much sought-after addition to the roster. Rarer still were the Japanese versions of this bonus disc, which contained an Ajito Celebi and a Colosseum Pikachu, and these discs alone fetch ludicrous prices online even to this day. As such, while you technically can get these Pokemon as many times as you want, you're going to have to pay through the nose to do so. Number 3. Pokemon Stamp Pichu Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire Clearly, someone high up on the Pokemon food chain saw the Nintendo Power Celebi giveaway and thought to themselves, <laughs> nah, not niche enough, and decided to create a competition even more obscure and with even less winners. Appearing in a printed release titled the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire Stamp Contests and Gym Leader Sheet, catchy, readers were tasked with collecting stamps of gym leaders that were released around the same time, and then attach them to the sheet and then send them off to Nintendo for approval. As you can imagine, this was a rather difficult affair as not only would they have to know about the competition in the first place, but also collect real-life stamps, some of which weren't widely circulated in 2003. As a result, only a reported 50 people received their prize. However, it was definitely more than worth it for those lucky few, as the Pichu that they received came with Tita Dance, likely an in-joke for how confusing the competition was in the first bloody place. Number 2. Victini – Pokemon Black and White When you learn that the description of Victini is that trainers who manage to acquire one always end up winning, how could could you not want to add this feisty little creature to your party? Well, it seems that you truly have to be a winner chosen by destiny itself in order to get one legitimately, as there was only one shot of doing so, and that was to be at certain events celebrating the release of Pokemon Black and White. The online code received would give players a Liberty Pass item, which could be used to travel to Liberty Garden. However, all is not so peaceful amongst the roses, it seems, as Team Plasma has already set up shop here, and will challenge the player to some pretty hefty fights. Upon clearing up the trash you're free to explore upon which you will notice the Victini is just ambling around waiting to be welcomed into your open arms. And trust me, it was definitely worth the effort. And number 1. Wish Chansey – Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Fancy getting your hands on a Chansey that knows the wish move? Well, my friend, there's a fat Chansey of that happening legitimately, as this might well be one of the most sought-after Pokemon even to this day. Thanks to trainers wanting to breed this skill and turn this egg-carrying cuddly into a fighter that will absolutely scramble their opponents, everyone wanted to get their hands on this. And while online forums might be rife with people looking to trade such a Pokemon, about 99% of these are hacks, seeing as the only true way to achieve this was to collect an egg code from Pokemon New York in 2004. And this was something that was only available for a month at the end of 2004. It's not clear if the eggs were identified as they were being given out, but they were limited to one egg egg per day across this time period, suggesting that of the six Pokemon that could hatch from them, they were completely randomized. So that means that even if you did attend the store every day, you might not have walked away with this Wish Chansey, which definitely puts it at the top of this ultra-rare Pokemon list. 
And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 ultra rare Pokemon you only had one chance to catch. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below, as well as if you have got any of these, because I'd like to see amongst my fellow trainers who's got what in their party. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. That's Dice with a C, where I do all of my streaming outside of work, and it would be great to see you over there, my friends. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. I hope that you are treating yourself well, both mentally and physically, because you deserve love, happiness, and success. You deserve the best things in life, and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise, all right? You're a massive ledge. Now go out there and utterly smash it. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.